Okay, tonight's lesson is on valence electrons, which basically are the outcome. Well, they're the valence electrons are electrons in the outermost energy level. That means on the outside. Okay, they're located in the S and P orbitals of the highest principal energy level. That's very important to note. And when we start going through these electron configurations, you're going to notice that it does stop in S and P. Those are going to be the highest ones. Now, we can actually visualize the valence electrons the best when we write the electron configuration using noble gas shorthand because we're just really writing the last stuff. We're not worried about all the inside electrons. Now, for example, let's start with, well, let's do maybe lithium. Now, if you look at lithium, lithium is in the second row, okay? It is, in fact, it's the first element in the second row. So we would write the electron configuration using helium and then 2s1, okay? Now, 2s, well, obviously there's no number after it, so this one has one valence electron. And that's because it has one electron in the last, or the outermost energy level. The energy level being the second energy level in the s orbital, there's one electron, period. If you look at the inside, if you were to do the full electron configuration of lithium, it's 1s2, 2s1, where that's your outside. 2 is your highest energy level. So highest energy level. Okay, so it's whatever electrons are in that second energy level. Well, there's only one, okay? Let's try another one. Let's try sodium. Let's go to the next slide. Okay. Now sodium, if you do the electron configuration, it is neon and then 3s1. So sodium has one valence electron. Cool, right? Okay, um, now what about magnesium? When you do the electron configuration of magnesium, you get neon plus 3s2. So there's two valence electrons. Pretty easy so far, right? As long as you can do this noble gas shorthand, it is extremely easy to find the number of valence electrons. Really, really easy. Okay, let's try, let's try strontium. Oops. Well, if I can move the slide, that is. Okay, strontium is SR. Okay, if you look at strontium, it is, has 38 electrons, and it is in the one, two, three, four, fifth row. So if we go back to the fourth row, we see that it's krypton. Now krypton has 36 electrons, so we only add two more. So it is a 5s2. So guess how many valence electrons krypton has? Yes, two. Two valence electrons. So far, none of this should be hard. Okay, let's try a little one that's a little harder. Let's try iron. Now, iron is Fe, 26 electrons. Iron is in the one, two, three, fourth row. Okay, so we're going to look back to the third row and we see that it's argon. Now, argon has 18. So if you take 26 minus 18, you should get eight, yeah, eight electrons, okay? Okay, so it's in the one, two, three, fourth row, so we're gonna start with 4s2. Now it goes down into the three, so we put 3d6. Okay, now you're thinking, oh, well, it's got six valence electrons. No, it doesn't. You gotta look at the two energy levels. This is in the third energy level. This is the fourth. That's the highest energy level. 
So this one has two valence electrons, okay? So because it's a 4s2, it's a, you look for the highest energy level. So 4 is bigger than 3, so 4 is the highest level. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try... Well, um, let's try copper. Now, copper is a little different. If you remember, it was one of our special ones, okay? So when you do this one, you're going to get the argon, but remember what copper does? Copper doesn't put it in the S. Copper does 4S1, 3D10. It wants to fill up that D orbital. So copper only has one valence electron. And same, in fact, the same goes with silver and gold. They both, because they put it one electron in that s orbital in order to fill out the d orbitals, they also have one valence electron. Oops, let's see if I can actually write today. Okay. Um, we can try a few more just to make sure we know what we're doing. Okay, so let's try aluminum. Oops. Now, aluminum is 13. Ooh, yuck. It does not look like 13. Okay, aluminum is in the third row. So we're going to do neon, which is 10 electrons. And then it's 3s2, 3p1. Okay, so aluminum. Now, these are both in the third. Now, remember what I told you. It's the s or the p. Well, you have 2 plus 1 equals 3 valence electrons. So you have to add up the S's and the P's. Okay? So this one has 3 valence electrons because it's got the S and the P. Let's try the next one. Let's try... Um, let's go ahead and try chlorine. Let's see what chlorine is. Now chlorine is 17. So it's neon, and chlorine is 3s2, 3p5. So chlorine has seven valence electrons. It's got two plus five equals seven. So there's seven valence electrons. And in fact, silicon has four. Phosphorus has five, sulfur has six, chlorine has seven, and argon has eight. Okay, because they, they go up one each time. So you count the S's and the P's. Okay? So let's talk about electron dot diagrams now. Okay, whoops. So now we're going to talk about electron dot diagrams. This is a shorthand method of writing the valence electrons but it does help if you know how many and I'm going to show you a little shortcut method okay I need you guys to look at your periodic tables the one I gave you the very first one it's got numbers across the top what it is is each one's a group number a column number okay so on top of H there should be a 1 on top of BE there should be a 2 on top of SC, there should be three. It should be numbered one through 18, okay? Those are the group numbers. So I'm gonna give you a little shortcut as to find out how many valence electrons everything has. So the ones in group one have one valence electron. The elements in group two have two. Now, when we get to group 3 through 12, it's 2, except for that column with copper, silver, and gold. So, we're not going to worry about, well, here, just put that 2, actually, no, 3, group 3 through 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 12 have two valence electrons. And 
Okay, so valence. And the group 11 has one, because that's that copper, silver, and gold. So these are going to be the screwy ones. So these you might want to write down somewhere, or you can just do the electron configuration and you'll find that they go into the Ds. So just consider them twos except for that one. Okay, now. Group 13 has three. I'm just going to say valence electrons. Group 14 has four. 15 has five. 16 has six. 17 has 7, and 18 has 8. Okay? You're going to need to use that. It's easy to tell. That way you're not having to write out the electron configuration using the noble gas notation in order to put the dots around it. Okay, so let's deal with the dots. As the term says, electron dot diagram are dots around an element basically showing you the valence electrons. So let's look at hydrogen. Now hydrogen has one valence electron. Okay, we're gonna put a dot. That's it. Helium has two. Oops. Eh. Let's do that better. I can't draw very well today. Okay. So it has two valence electrons. Okay, now lithium, that's also in group one, so it has one. Beryllium has two. Boron has three. Notice where I'm placing them. Carbon has four. Nitrogen has five, so do one, two, three, four. Eh, okay, let me erase this. It's kind of hard to do them with this. Okay, five. Oxygen has six. You're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Fluorine has seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. They have to actually be sideways. And with this pen, it's really hard to see. So, there we go. And then neon, which is eight, and eight is the most you'll ever get. You'll never have more than eight valence electrons. So eight valence electrons is the maximum. Now when you're drawing these, notice it's the 12, three, six, and nine positions around the clock, or north, south, east, and west, okay? You don't want to put them anywhere else, just the north, south, the east, and west. Okay. Here is your practice. I want to know how many valence electrons. And I want you to draw electron dot diagrams. Of. Okay, we will do potassium, uh, cadmium, we'll do arsenic, and iodine. Okay, those are the four. So I want to know the, how many valence electrons. So in other words, I also want you to do the noble gas shorthand, if you can and the electron dot diagrams. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye.